In this episode, we bring together two related questions, one from Eric Weinstein, who asks about the extended Zachman layering, well, the extended Zachman framework, and Joe Chittenden, who asks about the relationship between architecture and design. What are they? How do they differ? Which is actually the most popular question on my blog. We can explain both of these by looking at the extended layer Zachman layering. A classic Zachman has five distinct layers from sort of big picture down to implementation. What we've added in the extension is the whole enterprise, something that never changes or should never change, and also a kind of action record layer where we've transitioned from the future into the past, things that we can't change. All of the other five layers are about the things that we can change. So <clears throat> architecture, in essence, looks upward to big picture, to new options, to repurpose and reuse, and also more at, if you like, at the why and the, and the who of the, of the overall implementation. Design looks downward towards realisation, towards implementation, more at the how and the what, when and where. In effect, when we get to the real world, the moment of the now, we have to have a complete set of who, what, when, where, how and why. Things are usable to the extent that they're architecturally complete in that sense, <coughs> whereas things are reusable to the extent that they're incomplete. So we move up and down the stack all the time. So at each point in that stack, architecture looks upward, design looks downward. So that, for example, from the top end of the stack, everything else looks like design. From the bottom of the stack, everything else looks like architecture. In the middle, <coughs> architecture looks upward, design looks down. We keep on repeating at the same layer of the stack. The other point is that each of these layers, each of those views, the architecture is about the big decisions that are expensive to fix later, or that we may not be able to fix at all if we get them wrong. So architecture helps us to connect with the big picture and make sure we don't settle for ex expensive mistakes. We bring them together into the whole. So architecture and design are always flip sides of each other. You can't have one without the other. And the way, the way it works is depends on which way we're looking from each stage as we move from the future towards the now and into the past. So that's how the layering works. There's layers of abstraction. Architecture and design look upward and downward from each as we go through.